Anyway, on that note, welcome back to MTV. It's time for another video in our dungeon series, and it's time for 15.2. It wasn't one part enough, really? No! Right, so 15 part 2 is the second half of D15. What's that? Second half, you say? Surprise! You need to do all of your prep 15.2, get to A15, and then not do 15.1 until you are ready to do 15 part two, because the dungeon flows from 15 part one into 15 part two without any break. You must, must, this is a big warning, warning, danger Will Robinson. You think our audience will actually get that reference? Are you saying our audience is too young for that reference? I think that makes us too old. <laughs> <laughs> God, ah, my bones. Anyway, I'm... you must, have crafted the godly sword before starting D15. Otherwise, <laughs> the dragon will run away, you'll get given a time key and you'll have set <laughs> done your entire run with no ability to do D15.2, no area top, nothing. You'll just, bye, have fun. So make sure you've got a good 10, 15 minutes or so up your sleeve, maybe a little bit more depending on how long it takes you to finish 15 part one. You're going to need it. Over to you. Well, 15.2 is similar to other board-based dungeons. You control the Goggly Sword. The Goggly Sword. That doesn't really say ring to it. Do it from down here. Goggly. Goggly. Thank you. The Goggly Sword. Mostly strategy-based. The only way to make it easier is to have more coolness. Which, remember, our 15.2 prep video, Ultra Training, get your coolness up. The objective is to heal the dragon past full health. The dragon starts at zero, you heal for 1% of your coolness, and you can only heal the dragon when you're next to it. Each time you take an action, you take four hit points. <laughs> Each time you take an action, you take four hit points of damage. The dragon moves away from you, prioritizing up and down to get to the furthest away square. And the healing pads, which are the red circles, move at the end of the turn. If the dragon hits a teleport, it teleports to a random square. On the fifth teleport, it will become dizzy and stationary for four turns, including the turn that it became stationary on. This is your chance to get up to four heals in, if you were next to it when it became stationary. The healing pads move on each turn. Top left, top right, Bottom left, bottom right. Or that way, for the camera. Whatever. <laughs> if the dragon stands on a healing pad, it gains 25 maximum health, which you then have to heal. If you stand on a healing pad, you gain 8 hit points. Two healing moves cancel out two non-healing moves. If the dragon rewinds time, you and the dragon reset your positions to whatever turn it rewound to but the board itself doesn't actually go back it stays where it was and then just keeps going now the dragon can rewind time mm -hmm. more often the lower your health is yes. so the objective is to try and keep your health as high as possible so with that in mind with that in mind strategy i am using I'm running at 2,000 coolness because I couldn't be asked continuing my run up to 2,500. So I'll be healing for 20 for every heal. I'll be staying in the middle four squares as much as possible. If I need to move out of those to heal the dragon, then I can. But don't get greedy with the heals. The aim is to get the dragon dizzy as quickly as possible. Only healing him when he's dizzy if I can get two or more heals in. If I have to move more than two squares to get my heals in on the dragon when it's dizzy, no good. Healing yourself, in my case healing myself, is much more important. Um, there are specific situations where I'm going to be able to grab a cheeky quick heal on the dragon. There's a lot more situations as well where I want to try and prevent the dragon moving onto a pad. The trick is to move quickly though, so analysing every single move and trying to find the perfect optimal move to move will actually cost you time. And since really the limiting factor in this dungeon is time, you have 18 minutes to finish it, you want to just move and move and move. And if you if you get the dragon an extra 25 health, shit happens. 
Okay. 15 kill is not in slash command yet, is it? Yes. yes. Oh, it is. Okay, so it is. Yeah, so you do slash dungeon yeah. and it'll bring it up. That's part of what I was bummed out about earlier. Yeah, it was just macros. What? Necro doesn't like, but... Well, he doesn't like slash commands. Necro doesn't like slash commands. Necro and I disagree on that point. <laughs> I think you're wrong. <laughs> Alright. Time to do this. Now... We've forged our godly sword. So, time to start Dungeon 15, the whole thing. Let's go. So, we start with D15, per usual. So, we're just going to speed run through this, okay? The dragon has changed phases. We are now in D15 part two. So, now it's time to start the dance. Kick off with a heel. We can squeeze a cheeky heel in here. Oop, now it's just time travelled. That's actually a good thing for us right now because we accidentally healed it. Force it into the teleporter and it's dizzy. Now I can get a couple of quick heals in here, so let's do that. Oh no, I started at 100 HP, didn't I? This is going to be harder than I expected. Because I've been doing all my practice at 100 HP, 200 HP. <laughs> oh, I forgot you have the HP that you exit the first dungeon with. We don't want to sneak this heal. We need to heal ourselves. Now we can get three heals in. One, two, three. Uh, we need to heal here because we can't move on to the square that the heal is. And now it's just travelled in time again. This is going to become problematic. Times. Oop, we went back two turns, that actually works in my favour. Oh, 
Oh. Got it. Oh. Good grief. Anyways. <laughs> Necro's working on making all of my videos redundant, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, but you're doing it for the people who don't want to use helpers. Or who don't have access to them, like those that play on the RPG main server. Exactly. So, your guides, our guides will never be redundant. <laughs> Go, Lou. I challenge you, Lou. <laughs> yeah, you've gone and said it now. Anyway... With all that said, much love to you, Necro. <laughs> we love you, Necro. I've been MT. I'm the Violet Bombshell. We will catch you in the top, in the top fight. Oh, God, that's going to be weeks away. Yeah, I think it might be time for a new pet video coming up. Yeah, that's a really good idea. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> right. You may feel like we're more up to this. <sighs> I still feel like the truck hit me. You all need to do your prep for 15.2 and get to...